Are you coming out right now? Yeah. I'm shaking a little bit. <sighs> I identify as a queer uh, Latinx person of color. I am a very proud trans Latina. I am a trans woman Latina. The transgender woman. Queer with lesbian tendencies. Undocumented and queer. And I am an undocumented queer immigrant. I'm here right now, coming out for the first time, as undocumented, to stop hiding who I, who I am. First of all, I never thought I was gonna come out. I thought I was gonna die being in the closet. The experience of being queer and being undocumented and the experience of coming out in those two identities are, are very similar. For me, living in a closet is something that I don't wish to anyone. Closets are claustrophobic. <laughs> the closet to me means seclusion, means hiding, means um, being trapped. I started seeing a therapist about it because that's intense. Um, but I, I didn't realize uh, how it's affected me to, to hide, to be hiding that part of myself. When it comes to being undocumented and queer, I, I don't think coming out of either is easy. First I came out as bi, and then I came out as gay, and then I came out as trans. Hopefully this is the last closet that I come out of. Those words, it's just like three words, so two words. I'm gay. It's so hard, because you know that's gonna change people's lives. I remember the first time I came out to my, my mother, um, we had just come from the grocery store. She just straight out asked me, and I just froze. I was not ready <laughs> for that question. I remember that day, I just went home, and my mom was sleeping, and I, told, I woke her up, and I told her I need to tell you something, because I can't hide this anymore. And it didn't go well. It just became a whole drama. Because my mother, she was like, you know, if you were just a gay man, it would be easier. Like, my biggest fear was to hurt my mom. So I came out and I saw her crying and, and that was that was painful to me because I didn't want her to see crying. I want I rather at that moment I rather to see her mad at me, yelling at me, telling me get out of the house, but I didn't want to see her cry. Well coming out as a trans, I was actually disowned by my family for a long time. And then there was the whole closet about my documentation status. Coming out of the closet, it's like coming out of one cage, but you're still living in another cage being undocumented. Coming out as an undocumented person um, has been definitely a challenge. I've had an encounter with white, cisgender, queer males, which totally get the gay thing, you know, and they're all about it. But once you talk about your immigrant experience um, and what you have to go through, they might not agree. Definitely being in relationships is really, really hard because they, they will never gonna know because you don't have the same rights. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm not dating citizens anymore. Like, I'm just gonna date undocumented people so they can understand how I am and how I feel. And, and I'm done dating <laughs> so they can see how it feels. The immigrant rights movement is definitely very cis-hetero. The trans rights movement can be very anti-immigrant. The queer movement can be very transphobic. My struggle is not ever part of what the mainstream movement in any movement is fighting for. But I think it, the similarities like lie in the experience of it, like the fear, the fear, the nervousness, the insecurities, the hiding. What I gained from coming out is that I can feel a big relief. I think that I've gained truth. I've gained authenticity. Um, I've gained love. I've gained so many amazing, wonderful things. I, after I told her, I felt like I, I felt relief. I felt like I could breathe. The Ndaku immigrant movement has really co-opted a lot of the LGBT rights language. Encouraging people to come out is so parallel to what Harvey Milk was doing when he was asking LGBT folks to come out um, so that people know who you are, who we are, right? 
that we are your bankers, we are your neighbors, we are your, you know, the person that you see selling flowers at the corner. So coming out, to me, it's not really a coming out, it's really living my truth.